Hey Thinksters and welcome to this video where, where you want to learn among other things how to convert a set to a list. And uh, why do I say among other lists? Okay, so um, like the basic operation to convert a set to a list is trivial. Okay, it's more we can we can handle this like in a few seconds. But you you learn some more advanced operations like the asterisk operator, and um, this of course now has some use for for other Python projects you will you will write about. Okay, so say you have a um, set like this one, set of uh, three elements. Uh, Alice, Anne, and Bob string values, and now you can want to convert this to a list. Now, say you name your list L, you simply use the constructor on the friends variable, and now you already you are already done. So let's restart the share. Now you are already done. You have converted the set to a list. Okay, so like this is the trivial statement. It's it's nothing more than the list constructor where you pass an iterable. A set is an iterable, so you can pass a set. You can iterate over all elements in the set, so therefore you can pass it into the list constructor and it works. Okay, but what if you want to to have a sorted list kind of? Okay, here you see now Bob is the first element of our list, Alice is the second, and Anne the third. So what if you want to have Alice the first, Anne the second, and Bob the third? So you want to have a sorted list. Now you instead of using the list constructor, you can also use the sorted um, built-in Python function. Now if you execute this, you see it is sorted now. You can also um, use numbers on it. So let's let's have some numbers, eight and nine, for example. If you if you sort them, now you have the uh, sorted list. Okay. So this way, this is the second uh, method of uh, converting a set to a list. So the first one is to use a list constructor. Second is to use the, the built-in sorted function. Both are very simple, and both will give you a list easily. But now, if you so now the third third method you probably haven't seen that often, okay? The third method method is even shorter in terms of characters, and it's um, I guess a bit a, a bit faster. So I, I measured like in similar uh, settings, I I, uh, I measured the runtime. Actually, in this setting, I didn't measure the runtime, but I guess it's fa faster because it uses um, like the generator expression uh, functionality of uh, in Python. And so what is the method? The method is to, to simply unpack the set into the list with this asterisk operator. And now you see it, the result is the same and it's uh, shorter element wise, uh, so character wise. And you can also extend it much easier. So say you have a second variable called um, others. Like uh, now you have some elements in this variable, so the names does, doesn't, don't fit anymore. But still, you can use you can extend it very well by um, using the comma and unpack the values of others into the list as well. Okay, like this. So it's an extend operation. You you see now you can you can ex extend you can unpack all elements of any iterable into a list uh, by using this comma sec separated uh, notation with the asterisk as a prefix on uh, before the variable you want to unpack. Okay, so the variable must be an iterable and now you can unpack all values in the iterable into another iterable. So this is this is like the definition of the asterisk operator in Python. So this is a very powerful functionality. It's, it's it can be used on an arbitrary number of sets, but you need to type it in. And uh, if this is not enough, then you can also use another method. It's uh, called List comprehension, you probably know about it, about it. So you iterate over all elements in a given set, like this one. Okay. So this is also a way of of doing it. And you see, you see, you we have, you have all elements in the first list. Um, yeah. So those are those are like four different methods of converting a set to a list, and all of them are equally fine. I, I guess. I guess the, the most readable way would be just to use a list constructor and like list on friends for example and uh, yeah the the unpacking operator will also be um very pythonic it will be the shortest one and probably the fastest one so i personally personally will use the unpacking operator because i i find it very readable actually and i think advanced coders uh, will agree that it's a very readable uh, operator for for python coders but um, may, some beginners may have problems with the asterisk operator Okay, then one one uh, question maybe: uh, What is the um, the computational complexity of 
of this conversion method of con any convert conversion methods we have handled and actually all of them are linear runtime okay so you iterate over all elements in a list if the list has n elements then the runtime complexity is o of n so it's linear in the number of elements and um, adding one element to the list so you, so we, we have like um, n and operations we have to perform but now we need to check how expensive is the one single operation adding an element to a list and this is this has constant runtime because we simply append it to the last element in the list okay appending an element to a list is constant runtime complexity so we have linear runtime complexity times constant co runtime complexity is um, uh, is uh, um, linear runtime complexity as well and you can I can show you like a reference implementation of the set to list implementation here uh, we have a function set to list we pass a set now we create a new list which is initially empty now we repeat n times we have a loop that repeats n times for n elements in our set goes over all elements in the set and append, appends the element to the list which is o of one so it's constant runtime complexity so we have o times o of n times o of one now there's a chain rule so you can like um tie the arguments in into the o function into the um, big o notation function so we have o of n times one n times one is n so we have o of n as the final result runtime complexity okay thanks for listening to this video if you like the video then uh, check out my further videos like like um, i have many more videos on thinkster.com and uh, use the app uh, you can solve Python puzzles there. It's uh, fun. It's easy. It's simple. You can see uh, like your historic ELO progression, how your skill level um, improves over time by solving more and more puzzle puzzles. If your skill level improves, you will also get harder puzzles. So the puzzles will get harder and harder and harder. And so you will uh, day after day, you will increase your skill level and become a better coder. So check out my app, thinkster.com and uh, see you in the app. Bye.